Hey everyone, this is Nick Martin here with the American Steam Railroad, here for your July 2025 video update. As you can see, progress has really been flying along this month on the AFT250, thanks to our successful July fundraising campaign. The majority of our effort has been on the stable installation project, getting those 74 bolts renewed. In this month's video, we're gonna show you the entire process from start to finish. So for those of you that aren't familiar with steam locomotives, you might be asking, what is a stay bolt and what is its purpose inside of a boiler? Well, up here you can see the firebox, you have the inside sheet and the outside sheet, and a stay bolt goes in between those two sheets to keep the plates from spreading apart because of the great pressure of steam and water that are inside of the boiler. Normally you would have two types of stay bolts in a boiler. This is a rigid stay bolt, which as the name implies, goes straight through and does not move at all. And then these caps here, contain flexible stay bolts, which are allowed to move because of a ball end on this outside and allow for more flexing as the boiler expands and contracts. So during our most recent steam test, we observed a few stay bolts on the lower part of the back head that began leaking. That's because we believe them to be made of wrought iron and the radiant heat from the fire brick on the back head caused the grain of the metal to open up just enough to allow them to leak slightly. So since we needed to remove all the fire brick in that area anyway, just to replace those couple of stables, we decided to take it one step further and replace all the stables in that area so we won't need to worry about them for a very long time. So with that, we're going to go to Grayson Littleton who will explain how to cut one of the old stables out. Today we're in the firebox of 2100 removing stables, and I'm going to show you guys how we do that. We'll start by washing off the head of the stable flush with the sheet. Then we're going to peer through the stable into the water jacket and cut it off in a circle from the inside of the sheet. We walk it around the telltale hole, get the center hot, and while continuing to move in a circle and feeding it new material, we're going to pierce a hole into the center until we can reach through into the water jacket. So now we're through. I'm going to continue to open a hole up to relieve my center of all of the molten metal. And then I'm going to get in there from the inside and burn a circle around from inside the sheet. Now, that stable is completely cut off inside the sheet, and it leaves us with one of these little donuts that's the thread that engage to the sheet. I have one down here. I'll demonstrate how we get rid of that. We slice it into three pieces, and then we knock them out with a hammer. you got to get in there and cut the donut before you get to the sheet. There's one. There's two. There's three. Now, I'm going to take a chisel and a hammer and knock out my three pieces. Starting with the smallest piece to alleviate some room in there for the next smallest piece. And then we get our third piece. So now that all the old stay bolts are removed, it's time to start making the new ones. These rigid stay bolts here started their life as bar stock at the Strasburg Railroad, which you might know for being America's oldest operating railroad, but they're also a very capable locomotive contractor and parts supplier. We have several parts from them, including our UW stay bolt sleeves on the firebox. Once this bar stock arrived in Menor, Ohio, we started by cutting them to all the lengths that we needed, checking along the way to make sure that everything is coming out as it should. Once that was complete, we brought them to have the telltale holes drilled, which is a straight channel through the center of the bolt to indicate if a bolt has fractured or broken by the water and steam coming out of it. And finally, they were taken to be threaded so they could meet up with the reamed and tapped sheets inside of the boiler. So once all 74 stables were complete, plus some extras, we brought them here to Cleveland to be installed in the boiler. So this weekend, we've been working on the final removal and then tapping of the sheets to install the new stay bolts. This is a stay bolt tap, uh, inch and a sixteenth diameter, and then the next step up is an inch and an eighth, which is the size of the bolts that we installed. 
Stay bolt taps start out as a reamer and then end up with a full diameter 12 TPI thread. This is done to help line the holes within the sheets and then keep the threads in time so that you can thread the bolt through both sheets without any cross threading or any other fouling issues. Once all the threading was completed, volunteers behind me started threading all the bolts in. Once they're all threaded, we're gonna stake them in place, cut them to length, drive them, and seal weld them. So the other highlight from this month's progress is our successful fundraising campaign where we exceeded our goal of $7,000. Thanks to your support, that has funded the work that you've just seen in this video, along with all of our other crucial repairs as we lead up to our next time getting steam back in the boiler. So we thank every one of you who contributed to that cause and hope that you'll keep it up so we can get this locomotive ready to go out of the door for excursion service in 2026. As always, we want to thank our donors, volunteers, contractors, and our hosts at the Midwest Road Preservation Society. And as always, donations, our gift store, and all the other ways that you can contribute to our cause are on our website, americansteamrailroad.org.